morning everybody it's crafted by norma um i thought that i would show you how i fill a uh, naked um journal with all my bits and bobs because one or two people have mentioned how they like um my little bundles for uh, journaling so this is my second attempt at a dark academia um journal so um i've done the front cover and i've just done a little envelope with a small tag ready for journaling in uh, so I've put that there uh, ready to uh, to go and then inside I've just gone and put the corners in the little places for the tags to go in um, side pockets belly flaps uh, another side pocket there another belly flap style there there's a place there for a journaling card <coughs> excuse me um, and then a little uh, envelope with a tuck spot behind it, a place to put a notebook, um, another place to put a different style notebook or um, some other uh, ephemera, and then a side pocket there. And the back I've just gone and stamped with um, some of my um, Gothic style stamps. So just thought we'd have a go and see where it uh, it gets us. So uh, just have a quick slip of coffee. Right, so for the first one there, I was thinking of putting a little bundle. So the, how I make my bundles, um, if I stick that just there out of the way, I would normally just go and start with a piece of coffee stain paper, uh, fold it over and fold it over again. And sometimes I would um, stamp it, but I'm going to put it together first and then see if it needs any uh, any stamp or whatever. And what I also do is I have a selection uh, of bits and bobs that I've already uh, made up of ephemera. And then in this one here, I've got some uh, images, some tags, um, some of these clips to hold everything together uh, that uh, we can uh, use as well. So we're going to want to make sure that everything fits into our pocket as such. So I'm quite happy with that size, which is uh, will it be an, an A5, I presume, um, size. So let's get cracking. Ooh, the book wants to fall down on itself. Let's put it there instead. So um, I would normally add to this now an envelope of some description. So I've got a few envelopes here that I've already made. Uh, this one's just out of uh, out of paper. Um, and then I've got one that's got the the heart. Now I quite like that one to go with. I do like these these sort of colours. So we'll have I think we'll have that there like that. So that's the back of it and that's the start of it. And then I want some sort of card, some description to go there. So let's have a look what we've got that I could possibly put there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, quite like that. So quite like that one. And then what else have I got? Oh, just a little uh, index card. So with the index card, because it looks a bit plain, I think I might just put on a... Now these are these are my favourite ones. These are the nibs uh, that I got from uh, our local uh, art shop um, stamps. I've got no idea who they were by, but she had them in her sale and uh, I bought them. In fact, I bought two packs, because I bought a pack for a friend. So I'm just going to put that there like that. And that sort of indicates to me that it's going to be a uh, journaling page, I think. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that first little bundle. So with my first little bundle, I'm going to be tying it up with some twine. Um, so the way I measure it is normally the four times the longest length. So one, two, three, four just cut that off there like so 
doors at the front. Go around the back to here and then to here. Now I'm going to want to put um, oops. I'm going to want to put a little tag of some description there like that. So that's all going to go down there like that. So what have I got in the way of tags? Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now I think that's supposed to be a typewriter keyboard. So that looks quite cool. Yep. So let's make a little hole and we can tie that in. So I'll just get my crop sealer and make a little hole. I was quite made up this morning. I was uh, just looking out my window and um, I haven't had a song thrush in my garden for a long, long time. And lo and behold, this morning I had a juvenile one, but it was chased away by the uh, resident blackbirds, which was a shame. Right, so there's my first little bundle to go into the first page. So that didn't take uh, too long. That took about five minutes to do. So I think the key thing is to have everything ready uh, beforehand uh, helps. So, so we've got that there, like so. So in this one now we've got um, a space here to put some journaling cards. Now I've already made some journaling cards up. So I've got this one which has got some numbers and I think this is just an odd piece of Tim Holtz papers that I've sewn around the uh, the edges. So I'm going to slot that one in there like so for the background of that one. And then I've got some typewriter ones I think somewhere. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, um, let's see what we've got. That's an envelope. A tag that's a postcard that postcard would look quite nice I think just there like so yeah I quite like that there now what other ones have I got oh I need a smaller one don't I let's have a look what we've got a smaller one to pop into there Oh, is that a bit too small? Oh, that looks fine. So I'm going to pop that one into into there. So that's that page done. And then moving on to this page here. So again, I think I'll put another bundle here. Um, oh, perhaps. Right, with this one, I I wasn't quite sure what to um, to do with it. But I quite like that to go, actually. On here, when I've put the additional envelope, uh, I've left the opening here to um, slot in. So I'm going to actually slot that there. And all that is a piece of craft card, which I've stamped on. And then I've added to it some coffee stain paper and a couple of um, stamps. One with barbed wire and the other one with um, fear on it. So I'm just going to slot that in there, I think. Yeah, like so. So going back to here. Right, let's see what we've got. Um, I think I might put a journaling card there with something at the back of it. So I've got, this is uh, an image I've got, uh, which is a library card. So obviously with it being dark academia, um, libraries and books sort of go together and the image of the um, old dark Victorian style libraries um, I think is uh, is quite cool so with this I've just backed it on a piece of white um, paper that's um, sort of surfaced textured and I've just put the images of two of the pen nibs so I quite like that and I quite like that. So if I put those there, what does that need? Probably some more paper, I think. Mm, don't know. I'll leave that for the time being. I think I'll come back to that one. But this one, I think what we might do is have a look through my... Um, no, I don't know where I put them 
through my postcards and images. So I make these little um, filing um, cards and I put all sorts of bits and bobs in them. So this one has got, it says here, vintage postcards. So we'll have a look through some of these, see if there's any of these that I quite like. Um, which is to do really with more academia. I think let's have a look. Oh. I quite like her. A little cherub. I'll keep her out. Um. Oh no, he's quite cool, isn't he? Edgar Poe. Yeah, we'll definitely keep him out. And I quite like the little boy playing the flute. Right. Okay. So we've got three of those. So let's have a look. Oops. Right, so I do like Edgar Poe as a postcard. So I'm going to put him there so you can actually see his image, like so. And then I've got this, which, oh, that slot there, like so, yeah. Oh, can I use that for somewhere else? Don't know. Ooh. This is what it's like when I'm trying to decide what to put in where. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right, so we've got this one which is, I think, some sort of chemistry, mm, oh no, electrical and lamp patent. So I might just slide that at the back there, like so. Let's move him up there a bit, Mr. Pope. Okay, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I might go around the edges of that just to make it a bit more vintage. Yeah, I think I'll do that. If I can find my little... Which I can't at the moment, so I'll come back to that, I think. I did have it handy. But we'll come back to that, I think. Yep, okay, so that goes there goes there so you can see it and the beauty of these is the fact that you can if the image is down there you can move it so you can see whatever image that you uh, you want and there I've just gone and done a little uh, envelope a little plain dark envelope and I've put in a um, tag just to journal on just there right okay so here we're going to do another bundle I think so Let's just put that to one side for a sec and we'll have a another piece of coffee stained paper. There we go. And I spent the whole day in the garden when it was nice and sunny um, the other day. To um, There was no wind about, so I spent the whole day coffee staining papers and I had them all over the garden. Um, on an old table and some garden chairs and then what I did was uh, when it was um, dry they just slightly blew off one, two, three, four and um, I knew then they were ready to uh, lift up and then I put them overnight into my uh, airing cupboard uh, I've got underfloor heating and I've got a cupboard where all the heat goes which is uh, which is quite handy, right? So this time I'm going to put I think that envelope like so, like that, and then I want some sort of journaling card as such. What do I put another one of those in? I do like these. These again are coffee stained uh, index cards, like that, and and that. Like so. So another little nice little bundle to uh, to journal on. Okay, find halfway. Like so. 
Let's pop it round and tie it off like so. Ooh. There we go. I've been asked to do a altered filofax in the style of um, dark academia. So that's going to be my, my next uh, attempt. Now I've just made this little um, little tag just out of some uh, quite stiff black card and uh, a little um, label and I think they're one of Tracy Fox's labels if I remember rightly. Put that there like that and go like that. There we go. Okay, yeah, another little bundle. So pull this out and just pop that bundle into there like that so that fits in quite nice. I like it all to sort of like gel together if I'm honest. Uh, so again I've got this one here which I'm going to I'm going to pop this little girl in but I'm just going to trim down the edges there. Um, now on this, I'll be honest, I should have printed it on the shiny side and I didn't. So it's come on the, the matte side, but uh, hey ho, happy accidents. Ooh. Just uh, slide those down there. with this one here. Right, I've got this distress stain which is a walnut stain uh, which I might just do around the, uh, the edges because I don't particularly like to have white the white edges so put her there like that just so she's sort of peeping out we just have a, a wing and an arm that's peeping out. And then what else have we got that we can put in there? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay, so I've got one of these. Uh, and again, I'll just put some walnut stain along at the edges there. Just to break that up a bit. Oops. There we go. So remember we've got that one that's there and then we've got those two that's there. And then when this opens up, I've got this little pocket, which I've already slipped something in, which is a library card. So I've slotted that in already, but I just need something to pop in there. Now what I have made, which I'm hoping will pop in there, this is made out of some coin envelopes, which look like... Oops, that looked like that, uh, little coin envelopes. Now, years ago, I used to take my dinner money in a little envelope like that, and then I got upgraded to a, a tobacco tin. So all I've gone and done is just join them together. Um, so each one's got something a little different. So that's just got a little white card there. That's just got um, an index card there, and then this one. Here has got just an image, a little postcard uh, on there. So I might just slot that if that fits in there, I'll be well made. Oh yeah, go, 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 yes. Yes, it does. So quite happy with, with that one there. Brilliant. We're going along steamingly now. Right, okay, so next, um, I would like to put a book in there. So I've made a couple of different books. Um, where's my books? Where's my books? So, whoa, whoa, whoa. did I make another one? I thought I made another one. No. No, I was in the process of. So, all I've gone and done is some black card. Now, this one I've gone and put a little tiny uh, area there that you can slot some secret messages in. And I'm just going to slot that one 
in there like so. Okay. And because this is going to now flip up and down and be totally annoying, I'm going to use one of these. So I can either use the one with the pearl, the one with the face, which other one have I done? Or I've got that one, which has got part of a poem from Robert Burns and a little key charm, which I think I might use. Ooh. Because that's so pretty, I might actually just use the face, I think. And that's just going to clip onto the back there, like so, and hold the book in place. There we go. So one book in place, like so. so. That turns over, oh then that needs to be, that's better, go in there. So it's getting a bit fatter now, my, my journal. So all we've got now is those two pages there. So this book, uh, I've just used some spare card, uh, coffee stained uh, papers, assorted coffee stained papers, and I'm going to slot that one inside that way I think yes and again I might need to have something to keep that there so which ones have we got Ooh, I've got that one yeah I might use that one which has got the feather a uh, little typewriter and a and a label so let's see. Well, no, I can't do it that way because the typewriter would be upside down. That's no good, is it? Right, okay. And what I can do, if I wanted to, was have some sort of dangly bits and pieces coming from there, which um, I may do. I may do. I'll have to think about that one. Right, so on this one now, I'm going to do my last final bundle to slot into there. So let's see, uh, what have we got? Well, first of all, I've got this lovely um, postcard that Linda's given me. So I'm going to slot that into the back as an additional to the little bundle, I think. And then I've got, oh, I don't think I'm going to use that one. No, what have I got, what have I got? I might use that to go in the bundle, I think. So I want an envelope. So if I use that envelope and some more coffee stain paper. Yeah, so our normal trick of just going like that and going like that. Now to make this just a little bit different on this, I'm actually going to glue, I think, that down, which is an envelope like so. So that's going to be there. When you open the page, that's going to be there. So let's just get some of my... I've got the dregs of some heavy gel um, that I want to use up because it's going to be yucky and hard and stiff. Okay, so that's going to go on there like that. So when you do open out your page, your envelope is still there like so, which fits in with that envelope, and then I've got, that's going to go there, and I want something that's small to go there now. Oh, now then, this is just a piece of um, coffee stained paper that I've sewn round just to make a little slot and put a piece of uh, index card in. A little piece of index card there and that there. And I'd like to put that there, I think. Like that, to have that as a complete, as a complete little bundle. Yeah, I quite like that. So get my twine again. Like so. Right. Ooh. So as I was uh, 
going through my bits and pieces yesterday, uh, I'd like to say thank you to um, all the people that have subscribed. My numbers are slowly increasing, so I do appreciate it that people are interested in what I do. Um, the last journal that I put up for sale sold within an hour, which was really surprising, so thank you so much um, for that. I do appreciate it, really, really do. Um, I'm so made up that people do like my my work. Um, so it, it was very, uh, very nice. Um, and I'd like to take the opportunity to um, thank anyone else who's interested in coming. If you do would like to subscribe, please do. Don't forget to hit that icon um, button, the bell, and that will remind you. And this journal, once it's finished and complete, I will be putting into my Etsy shop again uh, for sale. And um, I'd like to take the opportunity to say thank you for just watching me make these little bundles, really. There we go, that slots into there like so. And there we have a completed journal. So thank you so much for watching. And I do appreciate um, all those people that do comment uh, on my uh, on my channel, and look forward to seeing you really soon. Thank you so much. Bye for now.